Now you might ask, after you put the first coat of finished paint on there, if the paint matches up really good, do you even need a second coat? It's always good to get in the habit of putting two coats on. It gives your paint a more full body look. Plus, most painters, when they put paint on walls the first time, they'll put two coats of finish on there. So you want to try to match the existing conditions as best as possible. That's after the first coat has dried. It's blending in pretty close. When I turn the light off though, I can see a little bit of where it was before. Now mind you, this paint on the ceiling is probably, I'm guessing, seven years old or so. So it's not like brand new fresh paint, even if it was out of the same bucket, let's say. You know, so just gonna have to kind of look at this and kind of make a determination what I think I'm gonna have to do to blend this in. First wanna go over just over the same area that I was at before. This paint is pretty close, it's so close, it's kind of hard to tell from down here exactly where I need to go, but because I got the light on, I can I can see it if I stand back a little bit. It's kind of tricky doing ceilings. Because there's a lot more starting and stopping than there is, like say, an eight foot wall. You have a definite start and stop at the top and bottom of the wall than you do with the ceiling, you know? One of the main thing is to try to keep the same pressure all the way along so that you have your paint on there nice and even. One way to do that is to get it on your paint roller nice and even so when you get it out of your paint container. Make sure you try to put it on nice and even on your roller. I've got to get this going over this way. I'm only doing that because I'm up close to a cabinet right there. You generally want to try to roll it out in the same direction. Okay. Now, I think what I want to do is blend this in. The way I'm going to do that I'm going to get some of the paint off my roller. Okay, now I'm going to make the patch come out a little bit further. I don't have as much paint on my roller, you know. I want to try to keep the outside edge kind of lighter if I can. I'm not putting as much on on the outside edge. Oh, I've got to figure out how to get over there. I'm having a hard time reaching it. Okay, so it's not as thick on the outside edge. That'll 
help, ooh, that'll help blend it in. Okay. I do that same thing over here. I don't have as much paint on my roller. I'll just kind of extend out the patch area. I'm hoping because I don't have as much paint on the roller, it's going to kind of trick the eye into knowing exactly where the patch was, where it started, and where it stopped. Now to a trained eye, you're going to see it, I think. I don't think this paint is exact on the match. You know? But for the person who doesn't know a patch is there, when they come into this room, they may not really notice it unless you point it out to them and turn on all the lights and all that. And we're going to let that dry, just like that. And then I've got to make a final decision as to what I want to do if it doesn't match exactly you know, like before I was telling you, I'll turn off the construction light and I may have to go even as far as installing the other two lights and then extending the patch out. But remember before I was saying about out to here was where it started dropping back into the shadows of the wall of the ceiling. And I might have to do that. But for right now, I don't want to extend this patch out any further. Because if this blends in okay, then I think I'm going to leave it. All right. I'll bring you back after I'm all done and it dries. And I think I'll put those light fixtures back up and we'll take a look at it. That's all I got for now. But I'll be back with more